What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Um, I'm back from Grid Life Road America and I had a lot of fun, but now I'm ready to work on the RD again and fix that slipping clutch after we put the heads on it. Um, so I've got a whole clutch kit from Economy Cycle, which is um, upgraded FCR, Yamaha FCR. I think they come in like R6, R6s and other models, but um, there's basically just more surface area on the friction discs to grab the steel clutch plates. So I'm going to be putting this in along with a little bit stiffer clutch springs, got a new side cover gasket, and uh, also upgraded clutch basket bolts because the stock ones are, they should be Phillips head screws and those just kind of suck. There's not a good way to torque them down. Um, so I thought these would be, good enough, be a good upgrade. So without further ado, let's get this thing torn down and uh, swap out that clutch. So um, this is what I was talking about with those new upgraded bolts. Basically these uh, these screws holding the, this is the clutch hub um, on the assembly. They're Phillips head screws and so they they obviously have a torque spec like any other screw, um, but that's gonna be hard to do with the Phillips head plus they're just easy to strip out. Um, if you notice I was hammering on some of the uh, side cover bolts. The screwdriver I have is actually really nice because it has a, an impact end, so when you hammer it on there, it should push on the screw and then rotate it. So it kind of helps you break them loose, um, keeps you from stripping them out. But anyway, just to avoid all that hassle, I'll be replacing those bolts. Forgot to put the bike in gear, so <sighs> now I'm struggling. There we go. So uh, clutch assembly is off and I'm taking a look at the basket and so it kind of looks like it's rough like as if there were a teeth worn into the basket but they're, it's it's pretty smooth it's it's more of a visual thing than anything. Um, if these get real bad sometimes people will file them down um, or if it's just really like beyond serviceability you have to replace the whole basket which I don't know if these are available for these bikes anymore but luckily everything looks pretty good. Um, I haven't taken a look at the clutch plates, I just took them off all together. So, they look okay. I mean, I think they're just really not holding up to the power. If you put these side by side, you can kind of tell. Um, there is a wider area, like taller, on the new plates than the old ones. So these just apply, or have more surface area to grip. So, they should hold up along with the stiffer springs. So, let's get everything swapped over and put it back together. So yeah, for reference, I mean, I'm trying to get you guys a better shot, but you could see they're just, there's more surface area, like height-wise, on the new plates. So yeah, that should work better. I guess we'll see. And then for my curiosity, 
Um, I also want to measure out how thin these steel plates are. They honestly look not too bad. This is only the first one, but they're not like changing colors from like slipping a ton. Um, yeah, I'm just curious because they might be reusable in the future if I need them, although realistically I probably won't. Um, and also the original setup uses O-rings between each friction and steel plate. I think just to make it smoother, um, but with the new kit we won't be using these. So 460-ish, 46 thousandths, new one is 47 thousandths, so like a thousandth thicker. So yeah, I mean th these are, these are fine, but I don't know. I'm a butthurt, I like to replace everything. It's not very expensive and might as well just have everything fresh. So that kind of sucks. Um, I read online from some forum posts that these replacement screws don't actually withstand the five or so foot pounds of torque that they're supposed to um, to get these tight. But at the same time, I'm using a 3 8 Harbor Freight torque wrench that goes to a minimum of five foot pounds. So maybe it's the torque wrench's fault. It doesn't read well that low. Maybe the screws aren't strong enough. Um, regardless, I'm just gonna put the stock screws back in get them as tight as I can with a screwdriver. Should be just fine. Um, luckily I was able to spin it out with a pick and just with my finger um, since there's no resistance once the head of that bolt breaks. Um, so let's try it again. Hopefully this time I uh, have better luck. Okay, so this uh, clutch side cover is cleaned up. Engine case is also cleaned up. I had the GoPro, I thought I had the GoPro recording, but turns out I took a picture, I guess, and talked to myself for the last half hour. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, anyway, so putting in a new oil seal for the Kickstarter shaft. Um, this back side, give it one more wipe down, but it should be clean, good to go. Same with the motor, so. Final steps. Forgot how much it sucks to clean out 46 year old gasket material. That engine case surface was awful. And then I'll probably end up changing the fluid um, shortly after kind of running it in just because any scotch brake debris or whatever else is going to be a pain in the butt. Now, I don't think this is going to be directional. Do it this way. Or I guess we'll put it on here because... Because of reasons. Put on the dowels. That should be okay. Okay, so I'm a little bit stupid, um, but so you're supposed to take the screw out, hold the pump fully open, and then bleed it like I was doing earlier until there's no air bubbles, which I think I got there pretty much, but 
I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna wait to put this on. I wanna see if there's air bubbles once I start this thing up. Okay. This bike needs a brake clean sponsor because holy crap. Just the amount of oil and crap on this thing. All right, let's fill it up with oil. So now I'm taking off this uh, access cover for adjusting the push rod <clears throat> that goes to the clutch basket. So when you pull on the cable, basically it, it rotates like a cam and then it pushes a, a rod across like the length of the, or the width of the motor and uh, pushes open that clutch basket and releases the clutch. So since those friction discs were pretty worn out, um, I have like no <laughs> no clutch with uh with this barrel nut like bottomed out basically so you gotta loosen the lock nut and then move the the phillips head bolt which is pretty much that push rod um and adjust it so i can have clutch without having to extend this guy way outwards so now now i've got like that much free play i bottomed out the barrel nut right so that's now at a point to where can just set that, get some adjustment out of it. You know what, maybe I'll tighten it down, but you get the idea. Basically, I'm just setting that bottom point so I can have the proper amount of adjustment right here, which is easy to get to. Versus this, you have to take the cover off and mess with, so. All right, so the clutch is done on the RD. I really want to take it and ride it around, but it's like almost 10 o'clock and it's cold and it's been raining all day. Um, so I'll probably just take it up and down the driveway, make sure it works, and then hopefully when it's nice out again, I'll, um, I'll go for a ride and film that. Alright, so it's the next day. Um, the weather's still not great, but I think the roads are dry enough to where I'm comfortable with riding the bike. Um, I'm super excited. I should be gripping now, so hopefully, like, it's, it feels faster. It's gonna be great. Um, let's go for a ride and see how it feels.
doesn't flip anymore. It's kind of stiff, but it's, I think, breaking in. It's fun. Nothing crazy fast, but like just the, the feeling it gives you is just a lot of fun when it hits the power band. It's a good time. Also, I need to get a mic for the helmet, but... So that does it for this video guys, um, clutch is all done, feels good, doesn't slip, it's not as stiff or as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I think it's going to break in a little bit too, the springs will. So anyway, I'm happy with it, hopefully we get some better weather before uh, winter sets in so I could at least take it on some proper rides and uh, see you guys next time.